After a tragic accident in Ogden Canyon, some are voicing their opinion, hoping to make the roads safer. A petition to look into restrictions for large vehicles is now going viral. New specialist Brianna Chavez spoke to the creator of this petition who explained what he is exact, uh, exactly asking for here. Brianna, what do you know? Yeah, well, Michael, this all happens after the best deadly crash that took the lives of two people here over the weekend. The creator of the petition says that this road can be very dangerous. And while the crash is still under investigation and he has no personal connection to the victims, he just says he felt compelled to do something to hopefully prevent another fatality. There are human lives which are at risk every day on this road. Todd Karen of Huntsville says like many in Weber County, his family utilizes Ogden Canyon daily. The canyon is very narrow. Um, in many places, it's really just two lanes of traffic, standard lanes of traffic um, with little to no shoulder whatsoever. Mix that with large vehicles. Todd says the road can become dangerous. On Saturday, two people were killed and three others were sent to the hospital after UHP says a bulldozer fell off a tow truck and onto an SUV with the victims inside. Without question, my heart and, and my prayers go out to the family over this. But in terms of the danger that this road presents to the residents and even the visitors to the valley, it's real and it needs to be looked at. Todd started a petition online asking officials to look into restrictions for large vehicles that travel through Ogden Canyon. It now has more than 1,000 signatures just one day after it was created. What I'm asking for here is that we have somebody take a quantifiable look at the type of vehicles that are utilizing this road and make a real life determination Now the Utah Highway Patrol tells me that some roads across the state do have curfews for oversized loads that need a permit. They tell me that there are no curfews on this road here over the weekends, and it's unclear if the tow truck had or needed a permit. That is all under investigation. I also reached out to UDOT, uh, UDOT excuse me, earlier today. A spokesperson told me they wanted to wait to comment on this until the investigation gets closer to wrapping up, but they said that because this is a state road, they typically do not uh, deny access to specific vehicles. I'll send it over back to you. Yeah, still quite a few things to sort out, but my, what an awful story. Brianna, thank you.